come along and learn with me about the floating blue community. Hi, welcome back to part three of the floating blue community, a guardians of the deep learning experience. Today we're going to be examining the weird and wonderful blue button and the by the wind sailor, two more members of the floating blue community. I can't wait to do more. Similar to blue bottles are blue buttons, also a float and hydroid colony from Nideria. Their float, however, is a flat disc-like structure and it's surrounded by a short skirt of tentacles. Okay, before the waves come in, here's a blue button, another member of the floating blue community. Um, it looks similar to a by the wind sailor. Thanks, Kai. <laughs> Um, it doesn't have a sail. So this is something that the um, sea swallows also eat using the stinging cells in their defenses. So you can see the disc and then all the stinging cells underneath the blue. The mouth of this organism also has the function of waste release. <laughs> what? Ew! They feed on zooplankton and are preyed upon by violet storm snails and sea swallows. Juvenile Malabar kingfish shelter underneath the floats of the blue button, showing preference to a specific individual. Oh, that's so sweet! Another Nidarian float and hydroid colony, but this one with the kinked sail, is the by the wind sailor. Like the blue button, these organisms also prey on zooplankton, with their predators being violet storm snails and sea swallows. These sailors have a mutualistic relationship with zooxanthellae. The dinoflagellates are protected within the cells of the by the wind sailor while providing additional energy through photosynthesis. That's awesome! As with the blue bottle, the orientation of the sail determines in which direction it will be blown. There's a little by the wind sailor. You've got the sail on top, don't want it to blow away. And you've got the stinging cells, the blue tentacles at the bottom that fringe it. So sea swallows um, eat these and blue bottles and they use the stinging cells in their own defenses. There's another blue bottle here as well. And as you can see the, um, the kelp flies are starting to hatch. Feel the air casings and there's some maggots coming out now as well. Um, that's a big one. So we're going to start seeing the moving masses of maggots soon. <laughs> Here's another bottle. You are now ready for part four. Boy barnacles. Click here for part four. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos.